Hello guys and welcome back. My name is Ariana and I am a WordPress enthusiast like you. On a previous video, I mentioned the importance about finding a good uh, hosting service. And the reason is because, well, I made a very poor choice when it came to finding a very good host service provider. And the problem I had is that this company got attacked and so did my website. So basically my site was just redirecting to a bunch of other websites that were completely unrelated, that were spammy, that were like inappropriate content. And that was like terrible. A uh, long story short, I tried contacting this company. The customer service was terrible. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna move on. I don't wanna deal with these people anymore. And that's exactly what I did. So anyways, what I would really recommend you is that if you are just starting your blog, uh, you don't have to pay so much for a web hosting service just to get all the features. You can go for a very cheap one, but make sure that it's a reliable one. And not to make this video extensively long, I'm just gonna um, talk about the three top options that I had when I was doing the research when I was trying to move from that other company to this new company. And hopefully this can help you make a decision. So before I start, I want to let you know that there is no specific order in this list. So let's just start. Bluehost. Uh, it's a fairly popular one and I'm pretty sure that you already came across with this one if you have been doing some research. So they offer in the cheap share plan a uh, free domain name along with other different website builders including WordPress. They have different plans that offer obviously more and more things and they start from $3.96 uh, per month. The only thing is that you have to commit to a 36 month plan for each one of them. The cheap share startup plan is going to come with a free SSL certificate along with uh, up to five email accounts, unlimited bandwidth and 50 gigabytes of storage space. Another option can be HostGator, which has been out on the market for about 20 years and honestly is highly trusted the basic share um, hosting plan is going to offer you more than enough for you to get your website started and it comes with unlimited bandwidth uh, storage free domain name for the first year of the service uh, automated backups which is amazing and a free SSL certificate and all of this you only have to pay $2.75 a month but obviously you are gonna have to sign up for a 36 month plan uh, or well the equivalent three years and last but not least a2 hosting which the best thing about this provider is that they care about the fast performance and they don't just offer this for people that pay for the most expensive package any person that signs up with them even the cheapest service that they choose is going to offer you fast performance on your website with the basic startup plan that is about 3.92 dollars you only can host one single website but they figure out a way to make it up to you by offering you other different things like um, the unlimited bandwidth, they have unlimited storage with SSD servers, a free domain name for a year as well, free SSL certificate that comes with it as well, bundle site builder, WordPress comes included, support for up to 25 email accounts and as I mentioned before, with WordPress, the best thing about it is that it's easy installed, just one click and you're done. Let me know if this was helpful for you to help you, I don't know, maybe narrow down the list that you probably have by now trying to choose the best host provider. Or if you have any other options that you maybe think they can be just as cheap and offer more things, share in the comments uh, below. I would love to hear what you have to say. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you next time.